Okay, hello again folks, I'm King Blacktooth, welcome to the location test mod for Blanca now. So finally, it's out. So first off, let's just go quickly over the delayed wake up that I've installed. So it's still a bit rough, can still be done on soft knockdown, unless the annotations say otherwise. But you can hold heavy punch and you'll stay on the ground for 19 extra frames, basically. So hold it, let go, and I stay on the ground. Next up we have the red focus attack, so medium punch, medium kick, heavy kick, all together. Looks like that, so it's clearly visible. And the same rules apply, level 1 does not crumple, maximum level does, and they're the only two levels it has, and it comes out slightly faster than normal focus attacks. It costs 2 meter and can absorb 12 hits. If you FADC into it, it costs 4 meter, absorbs 0 hits, but can crumple on level 1 on hit. So, there's your red focus FADC crumple on level 1 and just to stress it is on hit so if they block it and you do it they can block it's not unblockable okay so it makes it a little harder to use you can't just go into a crumple whenever you want you need to be hitting them first okay so now the blanket changes the first one is you can now FADC blanket balls so some reports said it was vertical balls which I believe is that but that seemed a bit useless because I mean you have to be really close there anyway I'm not sure less less useful at least not useless but I don't know I will change it if it's necessary because I've now figured out how to do it I think I can change it very easily but you can FADC blank balls at any distance now which is nice and you can even red focus it if you've got the meter there we go. So one of the things is I didn't I can't really see much use apart from making it safe because you can't seem to cancel out of it into anything in time. The one aspect where you could do that is do a normal blanker ball, red focus on hit, and you get a crumple for it. But it costs all your meter, that's one of the things. And but apart from that, pretty much just to make it safe if they block it. The next thing is heavy punch blanker balls. They always knock down now, so and no matter what distance, use heavy punch to knock them down to finish it, maybe get some sort of setup. But also an important point about blanker balls, because you can FADC it anywhere now. Before I made this change, you could FADC at really close range like that, and that's the same with doing your super. You can do your super at close range, but any further away where it wouldn't normally have been FADC ball you can no longer do your super okay so you can only do your super really close okay the next thing is crouch and medium kick is plus five on hit so that's opened up a, a couple of options possibly made it a bit easier to combo certain things so now one frame links are now two frame links and you can also do crouch and medium kick crouch and medium kick I'm trying to plink it there we go crouch and medium kick into crouching medium kit. You can't really do much else, you can do a blanker ball at the end of that. Okay, so the anti-air version of is Ultra 2 now comes out two frames slower. So it takes nine frames instead of seven. So here we can see it. Pretty slow, but you know, I, I don't think that should have been necessary really. Seven frames is still quite a long time for an anti-air, although it is an ultra I guess, but Next thing is close down and medium kick is now airborne for the first four frames, so that's good. I really need to check whether this move is still... Oh wait, <laughs> of course it's still armor breaking for some reason on Goken's parry. It gets through Goken's parry for some reason, and of course it's still going to be the same because I haven't actually got Ultra. So I forgot that I didn't actually have Ultra Street Fighter 4 there for a second. Okay, and lastly, on block, back step roll now, I don't know how to do this move. How do we do this? Back set roll. Okay. That move is plus two extra block stun on block. So on block, you're going to stay in block stun for two more frames, which doesn't seem really that much. I'm sure you'll still be able to punish it, no problem. Okay, so that's all of the blanker changes. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. It didn't really seem to have much. The, the FADC blanker balls, providing I got the correct version for blanker balls, is a pretty good change, possibly. I know you guys probably don't throw them out just willy-nilly, but 
sometimes you want to FADC them and now you can. You pretty much always want to go backwards though possibly. Um, but apart from that, not really very interesting changes. I think in terms of combo ability, crouching medium kick is probably better for some people. Makes it a bit easier and heavy punch blanket pull knocking down is probably like one of the biggest things. So that you get a bit more pressure on wake up, but it is soft knockdown. Thanks for watching. So when you want to install my mod, you need to download the mod in the download link in the video and then extract the file. You'll have your character name changes, so a nice readme to let you know what I've changed and how I changed it, and installation instructions if you don't want to listen to me. And you'll have a character name.bac and character name.bcm. So the next thing you need to do is find your Capcom directory because your Super Street Fighter 4 files will be in there. Mine's in the C drive in program files, but if you bought it on Steam, it'll probably be in your Steam directory somewhere. So you go in to Super Street Fighter 4. Now you've got some patch 1.07 and patch 1.06. You need to find the one with your most up to date character. For example, if we were doing Sagat, his most up to date one would be in 1.07, as long as as well as Ryu, Yuri, Dudley, DJ, and Cody. But most characters are in 1.06. The character I'm doing is in there, and most characters are. I'll mention it if it's in. 1.07 so you go in and then you go into battle regulation latest AE and then you find the character we're doing I'm doing bison which has got the the name Vega at the moment and so you'll have the character name dot BAC character name dot BCM and all you need to do is I recommend making a backup and sticking copying those files in and rename them original just so you got them as backup and then you just copy over my ones into there and that will allow you to play as my modded version in arcade mode, training mode and versus mode so you can have some fun if you've got local friends to play with you could update two characters that I do and then fight against each other with the new changes that would be quite interesting anyway so thanks for watching and I hope that has helped